in an era where the EPA has all but neutered the sound and personality of modern superbikes, this bike still had an intake roar and an exhaust rumble that is music to my ears. Understated, it's not loud like the Kirker 4 no ones, just a nice rumbly throaty sound backed up by damn near close to 100 horsepower, four cylinder, four carbs, dual exhaust, Japanese magic. The gauges are crisp and clear. Everything works beautiful. All the switches are really nice. The brakes have been completely gone through. I'll go over what Jeff did to it in a moment. Stay tuned, I'm gonna go have some fun. beautifully on this bike. All the dash gauges, the neutral light, the uh, backlit gauges, everything, the tachometer, speedometer, the brake light switches, everything's perfect on this thing. <laughs> so I kind of wish the manic mechanic himself was here to tell you a little bit about this bike. And uh, well, let's bring it up and we'll talk about what, he, what we have. I have his work order. your chance to win a brand new 2022 Honda CRF 450 Works Edition for 10 bucks. Go to www.kaplancycles.com. Buy your ticket today. What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? It's Ken Kaplan sitting in front of the New England Motorcycle Museum and Kaplan Cycles. Been here for over a decade now and seen over 5,000 classic motorcycles come through the shop here and through the museum and literally tens of thousands show up combined over the years in the events. And I've been in Daytona every year for 30 years to the uh, uh, motorcycle week in Daytona. I've seen millions and millions of motorcycles and I've ridden literally over 5,000 motorcycles just in the last 15 years here at the at Kaplan Cycles and running the Motorcycle Museum. I'm qualified to say this is one of the nicest four cylinder Japanese super bikes from the 70s I've ever ridden. This is, when I rode it, I had, it popped into my head. I said, I feel like I'm riding the Vincent Black Shadow of super bikes, because it is, it's black, it's beautiful, it's understated classic with the gold factory original pinstripe and the white stripe and the red. Unlike the West Cooley super bike model that screams me too, super biker, this is an understated elegance, all original, original factory bars, original chrome, front fender, the original paints in beautiful condition. And every once in a while, I listen, I worked at New England Cycles as a setup tech. I got to ride all the bikes in 1983 and 84. I rode tons of super bikes like this. Every once in a while, you get one in that's carbureted perfectly. The carbs are synchronized beautifully and everything works the way it's supposed to. It's super smooth. This one's been tuned to perfection by the manic mechanic, Jeff Castine himself. It is, the carbs are, are uh, uh, jetted perfectly and balanced perfectly. The engine compression, clutch transmission, the, the crankshaft, everything is super tight on this thing. It's got low original miles, it's stock, and it's super nice. If you're looking for a vintage Japanese super bike, buy this while they're still affordable because they're going through the roof. Everything is going up. We're having hyperinflation. You want to hedge a bet on something that's going to outpace inflation, buy a classic super bike like this. This is an investment quality super bike fantastic machine and i'm gonna go for another ride because i enjoyed the first one so much thanks for watching and god bless america make no mistakes this is a super bike suzuki took this chassis this engine and with suspension mods brakes and bigger tires and a little bit of motor work this was rounding the banks of daytona at 130 140 miles an hour and Wes Cooley won the Superbike Championship on something very similar to this production-based bike. Understated elegance, super smooth, excellent seating position, comfortable seat. Suzuki really hit the nail on the head with his double overhead cam GS1000. Triple disc brakes, long travel forks and shocks. Jeff went the extra mile on this bike. 
He has a soft spot for these GS1000s. He has one similar to this that he actually turned into a West Cooley replica paint job. Um, starting at the front of the bike, he put a brand new Metzler Laser Tech. This was uh, done on February of 2020. Jeff went through the bike front to back, put a new Metzler Laser Tech front tire on there, uh, went through the brakes, changed the brake fluid. The uh, engine, he went completely through the motor, rebuilt the carburetors, put new pilot jets on it, new air filter, adjusted the valves, went through complete major tune-up, new plugs, change of oil. Um, the rear tire is a brand, brand new Metzler Laser Tech also. Uh, that's got probably less than 100 miles on it. The original cycle parts are all intact from the front fender to the rear fender, the turn signals, everything on the bike is original, including the paint job and seat cover. Just super, super rare to find them this clean with the stock original exhaust, center stand, everything's intact. The bike, uh, Jeff cleaned the gas tank out on it, uh, went through the entire fuel system. Yeah, the tank interior is like brand new. There's a photo of that in the gallery. Brand new battery. Uh, he went through it top to bottom. When it came to our shop, our techs gave it a complete going over front to back and it was given a, a major detailing. I'll check the work order to make sure I don't leave anything out. I have all of the all of the receipts for the work that's been done to the bike, the total of the two invoices from Jeff, and what we did here totaled over $3,200 worth of, of mostly labor and parts. So um, it's been given a 100 point inspection here at our shop, nut and bolt inspection, everything checked out perfectly, and it's ready to go. Um, if you have any questions about it, again, give us a call, 860-454-7024. The bike's just been given a full rotisserie detail. It was hand washed, hot water washed, degreased. Uh, the frame was polished, the tins were polished, the tank, the swing arm, all of the chrome, all the aluminum, everything was clean and polished on the bike, and it's ready to go. We have the work order from All Sport Cycles before Jeff came aboard with us full time, and we have the work order here totaling $3,200 in parts and labor. So, Junior, you want to add anything about this classic GS1000? I know you got to swing a leg over it too. What are your thoughts? Yeah, there's some things that can't be faked. The original cycle parts, all the chrome, there's no signs of pitting or, or, or oxidation or anything like that indicative of the bike being stored inside uh, its entire life. Uh, and one of those items, the gauges are look like they were taken out of the box. Although the bike has 23,000 miles, it runs perfectly. Um, and it, Jeff is probably one of the best mechanics I've ever uh, worked with and we've worked with how, how many how many extremely qualified mechanics we've, we've had we've had over in, in the 12 years we've been here we've had over 25 ATEX work here including the six that we have now so uh, we've had been had the benefit of working with some really good ATEX both on our payroll and several other that we outsourced work work too so uh, nobody does it better than Jeff uh, he understands these four-cylinder carbs. Uh, you know, some people say they can do it with their eyes closed. I really think Jeff could. The guy's an absolute uh, amazing mechanic. And we call him the manic mechanic because he's, he's, he's obsessed with this. He's done it his entire life. And uh, the proof's in the pudding. This thing runs just absolutely amazing. And it's, it's to tuned to total pressure. unobtainium. The first year of the GS1000. Um, the cost of labor is going up, guys. And there's... I'll tell you what, the guys like Jeff are a dying breed. I don't know of any other uh, mechanics that are open for business taking in uh, service work on 78 GS1000s. If you own one or you buy one on Marketplace, it's going to need everything that we've done to this. Uh, hey, Ken, can you come up here? And I want to show them up close. This is the original factory paint job on it. It's smooth as a baby's bottom, and it shines like a diamond. The chrome gas cap, the original upholstery on the seat, just you just don't find original paint survivors like this that are that are just absolutely gorgeous uh, now if you if you got a magnifying glass out you might find i mean let's look let's see if we can find any 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 imperfections around in the, the gas cap. there's a tiny yeah. little something right here i don't know what you'd call it if that was in a uh there's a little, little tiny bump right there uh, another tiny little bump right here let's see if we can count this too that might be a third one right there just absolutely stunning the fit and finish on this tank to find a, a dent free original tank alone is is uh uh like well like finding a unicorn the original gold pinstripe look at that the uh fit and finish like i said look at the look at the turn signals here they're usually that's there's very little chrome on those and they usually pit up 
the headlight bucket, the original bucket, and the headlight ears are perfectly straight. No, no one, find one of these that hasn't been dropped at least once in its life. Good luck. Well, you're looking at it, folks. The original brake uh, lever is in excellent condition. The original bars are nice and straight. Um, just a stunning piece. These are the original Tanaka made in Japan. Check it out. It's got the Tanaka made in Japan logo, Japanese uh, mirrors. Just, just a beautiful piece. The um, front fender is in excellent original condition. The chrome is really nice. A couple tiny little pits on it. But hey, this is a 40-year-old machine. Look at look at the um look at the, the, the chrome on the forks. There's no pitting at all. They're 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 like they're, the forks are a 10. They're perfect. The um Exhaust system, originally factory exhaust is in excellent condition. A little bit of patina on the chrome on the front here. The motor, engine cases, everything's super nice. No indication of any rubber wear. Look at this peg, it's like it just came out of the box, like it's NOS. Same thing with the, with the lever and the passenger pegs. The only damage I see on the bike anywhere is this dent on the muffler right here. Looks like it happened in the garage or something. Something might have fell on it, but it's on the top. The bike didn't fall over, something fell onto it, sadly. But. Uh, you know, you could find another right side pipe if that bothered you, but it doesn't affect the performance at all. The pipes sound awesome. And again, brand new laser tech tires. Kick ass machine. Show me a nicer one. Good luck finding a nicer one. She's a beauty. If you have any questions, give us a call. Main mechanic is, is uh, closed his shop and came aboard here, but he's only working six months out of the year. He goes to the Florida for the winter. He'll be back April 16th. And uh, if he was here, I would have had him do the test ride on this. Thanks for watching. God bless America.